हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ एस एम गार्ड फ्रॉम वालचिम स्टोव टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट टुडे मैं गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द स्टडी फ्लो एनर्जी क्वेश्चन कंसेप्ट बेसिकली स्टूडेंट्स विल एबल टू कैलकुलेट हाउ मच वर्क एंड पावर रिक्वायरमेंट इन दैट थर्मोडे डिवाइसेस एट दैट टाइम वट एवर द that work and power related to the heat and work of that system related to that the concept is basic control flow mass of that system here we take a example of this one is a control volume of that system in that control volume suppose mass entering in that system the pressure p at that time whatever the distance traveled is l so total work done for that system is force into displacement l but actually this force is equal to pressure into area into distance traveled l but actually area into length is equal to volume so work done is equal to p into v that is called as a flow of work so basically when the mass entering in that system and mass leaving from that system that mass itself act as a imaginary piston on that particular layer of that control flow when the mass entering in that system acting a force f and previously the same concept distance traveled l the same mass m2 entry is m1 and exit is m2 the same mass leaving from that system so in that that whatever the mass entering in that system it itself act as a piston on that particular layer it is a consider of three layers first layer second layer and third layer so whatever the mass entering in that system and the mass leaving from that system is the same one so you say is that m1 is equal to m2 so when you go for all these concepts we have to assume some data that is at any corner of this control flow energy and state of the system is the same that is the first one that is energy and state is equal to same one there is no change or no change secondly mass m1 at entry is equal to mass m2 at exit is the same therefore m1 is equal to m2 now in that control volume all the boundaries of that system they are frictionless so for that we need to calculate the mass flow rate of that system when we make all these assumptions with control flow which is the control volume and this is the exit and this is a datum line so inlet it as z1 height from the datum line and exit at the height z2 so mass m1 is entering in that system and mass m2 is leaving from that system so at the entry level pressure is p1 at the exit level pressure is p2 at the exit inlet level specific volume is v1 at the exit specific volume is v2 at the inlet inter energy is u1 at the exit inter energy is u2 
at the inlet enthalpy is h1 and at the exit enthalpy is h2 at the inlet speed of that mass velocity of that mass is c1 and exit is c2 so when you know the these conditions at the inlet level and these conditions are at the exit level then you go for the concept of the steady flow energy equation the concept says that mass at entry is equal to mass at the exit what is the concept said mass at entry and mass at exit so energy at the inlet and energy at the exit is the same one so here whatever the quantity of one more assumption you have to made it whatever quantity of heat supplied to the entry level same quantity of work you get it by equation of the first law of thermodynamics but some of the losses are to be there and that losses related to the different forms of energies and these different forms of energy is called as the internal energy of that system these internal energy systems are kinetic energy potential energy <coughs> flow of energies vibrational energy rotational energies elasticity plasticity and so on but the notable values are kinetic energies potential energy and flow of energies so we want to take only these values therefore we write the equation q at the inlet plus specific mass m is equal to kinetic energy at the inlet that is a 1 plus potential energy at the inlet pe1 and flow of work fw1 at the inlet is equal to work at the exit is equal to mass into bracket kinetic energy at the exit plus potential energy at the exit plus flow of work at the exit we put the values q plus m into bracket kinetic energy is a c1 square by 2 plus potential energy g z1 plus flow of work is internal energy u1 plus pressure p1 into specific volume v1 is equal to work done plus m into bracket c2 square by 2 plus potential energy at the exit g z2 plus flow of work at the exit is u2 plus p2 into v2 therefore we need to calculate q minus w is equal to m into bracket c2 square minus c1 square by 2 plus g into bracket z2 minus z1 plus u2 minus u1 plus p2 v2 minus p1 v1 so from this equation we say is that q minus w is equal to m into bracket c2 minus c1 square is equal to is a kinetic energy that is change in kinetic energy plus g z2 minus z1 that is a change in potential energy and <coughs> this whole flow of work that is u2 minus u1 plus p2 v2 minus p1 v1 is equal to h2 minus h1 as h2 minus h1 is equal to the change in enthalpy so for the steady flow energy equation we say is that change in kinetic energy plus change in potential energy plus change in enthalpy of that system so if this is a formula for the steady flow energy equation we can use this formula for example turbines exactly reverse to the compressor some values are to be zero if the turbine and compressor at the same level height 
z is to be zero q is equal to zero we need to go for compare uh, sorry uh, nozzles and diffusers we can calculate these values so these are the some examples for steady flow energy equations Thank you.